I'm gonna get you on film doing it, man. <laughs> oh fuck! I got that on film. I think. Yeah. Welcome back, everyone. This week we're at Ass Kicker and Relentless. Um, I know the Gully Moor was on this week, but uh, I wanted to go and practice um, a little bit more of the uh, rougher terrain, a bit more technical, bumpy stuff, and get used to like riding with the moose because I got the front and the rear in. After the story of the moose last week with the uh, moose in the front, the moose in the rear was so easy. I did it in like 30 minutes. It was it was so simple. Um, that included like you know prepping the tube. Sorry, not prepping the tube. Prepping the actual moose uh, foam itself and shoving it in. So yeah, we wanted to come and do some. Well, I wanted to come and do some more technical riding, and Jesse wanted to get some seat time before the cord. So we come to Ask Kicker, and honestly, like. I'm having so much fun riding around on the moose. I'm not looking like I'm moving very much right now, but this is like, I've already been riding on it for a few a few minutes, and it started to dawn on me that um, going across these stones, I don't actually need to use any throttle um, if I'm getting stuck. Like, the bike will just hook up and push again, and, I'm, and I know that's not just because like of the low pressure and uh, having the cracked tires and stuff like that compared to before. Um, but I was having a, a great time. We rode back and forth on this a few times. And um, it was it was really good to be like, ah, okay, the bike can move. And it's been, obviously it's been raining. It's been raining all morning. I think it was still spitting now. Um, it's not it's, it's not like soaking wet, but all like the rocks are kind of like mossy and a little bit slimy. So you can definitely tell it's slippery. Um, so it, this was really, really good conditions for it to getting out and riding. I heard the gully mall was an absolute mudder, so kudos to all of them. I'm glad I don't have to wash my bike. <laughs> However, this day was going great until I um, pushed, pushed my uh, pipe up through my radiator and that really, really sucked because uh, that basically cut a day short and that was really, really unfortunate. But today I'm here with Jesse and Lucas and um, well, we can see Jesse in front and Lucas is uh, sometimes in front, sometimes behind. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's super slippery, just just the tiniest of things, and you're all over the place. But but it's still it's easier than Chloe's, that's for sure. Because <laughs> you can get some rest. There's some really good like bits of really nice trails to ride on, um, which smooth out and even out, even though like it's a little bit bumpy. Chloe's is like you take the the hardest bit of ass kicker, you turn it into like round instead of flat rocks. So like the tops of the rocks are round. And then just make it relentless and you got Chloe's. <laughs> so I felt pretty good. I didn't have it as soft as I had it, my suspension as soft as I had it at Chloe's. I had it, I don't know, I think it was basically like stock, so like 10-10. And it felt pretty damn good on everything. I was I was very happy with that. And I felt like I was getting more and more confidence with uh, riding with Moosin. So one thing that is like a little different um, is that well, you know how, like, in the past, I would say, I, I see something, I'm like, oh, I shouldn't hit that, I might get a puncture. Well, I mean, it's starting to, like, shift. Like, I can't get a puncture anymore. This is great. This is the whole point of me spending so much fucking money on those things. Um, and, yeah, it helps way because it's down. So you can see it's, like, this, like the most simple thing just is slippery, sends you down. <laughs> Had a nice walk-off, though. Very, very fancy. Um, Professional. I was trying a lot of things like to go over rocks like this and not dab, just trying to stay on the pegs. I dabbed this time, but there was a lot of other ones where we were going around practicing. I didn't really film a huge amount because I wanted to save the battery for later when we got to the hill climbs. I didn't realize that at the second hill climb that would be the end of the day, but you know, details. So yeah, back to the radiator thing. Um, I think like over the many years I've um, been pushing like uh, when I hit my pipe and stuff, it's been pushing up closer and closer and touching and then touches. Whoa, almost hit those trees. And it's been touching the um, it's been touching the radiator and as it vibrates or shifts or whatever, it's slowly been like rubbing away the bottom of the radiator. And um, yeah, after all this time, it finally just wore entirely through and a tiny little ding. I wouldn't say tiny, but a small ding on the pipe just punched it through the last little bit because by then it was probably as thin as like a Coke can or whatever. Um, so, a couple of years back, I had actually, I was very lucky. I was like starting to freak out because I was like, oh God, how am I going to get my bike fixed with a cord? Um, 
I, I, I spoke to Langs and they said that there was no uh, radiators and there's no, uh, they had no pipes with no radiators. Like, oh God. And then I remembered a couple of years back, um, I had fucked up one of the, the same radiator, the left one, um, by, I don't know, something dumb. I flipped the bike clearly or whatever, and it had like sort of like cracked open at the top, but not to the point that it was leaking. I did like a little leak test. I couldn't get it to leak. So I, I had that spare radiator still um, in my garage. So I pulled that bad boy out, put some JB weld over the crack just to like reinforce it. <laughs> hey, good job, Luke. Um, good job, Jesse. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I did that and I also put a little bit, I looked underneath and lo and behold on that one it had rubbed through a bit as well. About half as much rubbed through as the um, one that I destroyed this day. So I'll, I'll head up uh, one of the places and get like someone to see if they can fix the other one so that I, I still have it. I mean like it's, it sucks but maybe they, like someone, a, prof pro a professional welder can get it fixed and that will save me literally hundreds of dollars if I when I when I inevitably break this thing again yeah it's just caught out on a tree there so yeah I uh, got a new pipe on order unfortunately I wasn't able to get it from Langs because they didn't have any in stock um, and I didn't let, and he was saying there was like one where it has like a it's it's uncoated or something so it rusty and I was like eh, whatever for the same price I can get one that is fine elsewhere so it's a shame but yeah, yeah, it's energy. Um, Yep, trying to do this little hill climb here. Uh, I did it terribly. Like it Those guys made it up. Um, so I go, I, 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 you know, I'm cutting it because obviously I'm very bad and you, you, I tried to continue and try to reposition and it was terrible. Um, so I decided, okay, I'll go, go, go back down. So you, I skipped out like five minutes of me wiggling around and same again. And then I tried to go up this way and it was much, much easier. But you have to also remember, I was also wiggling around and they were giving me advice for about five minutes before I actually gave it a go. So it's not like I just nailed it first time. Wait! Oh, good? All of these little rocks move. None of them are stable, so that any of them will like catch you and throw you out and swing you around. It's steeper than it looks. But still pretty good. Still pretty good. Well, Jesse and Lucas make it look easy. Oh, look at that. Oh, Up hey, they go, hey. both of them. And then my attempt. I'm getting absolutely thrown around all over the place. I throw it off the whole bike. They about my bike threw me off. I did it terribly as well. I was like fucking bouncing all over the place. I wasn't happy with that. So I, I want to go back down, try again. Come on, make it up with my own volition. Terrible start. But... This bit, not so bad. Try not to spin too much because I don't want to like, rip all my lugs off. All right, that counts. <laughs> but I made it up. So with the Shaley bit, I, I actually had been riding for quite some time and I had the camera off, but I was like, oh, maybe I should just put it on for a little bit of footage. Um, <laughs> and uh, I was getting really, really happy and confident with my riding through it. Um, I was just, Jesse mentioned that he was trying to stay a bit lower, and I, that, that's the thing that I think I haven't been doing. So with the um, with the rocks, I think I've been like kind of standing as if I was riding on dirt. When realistically, I should be trying to squat deeper so I'm closer to the tank. So I'm not like when I get shaken around, I don't get shaken around as much, and that was really paying off on the like the shell bumps. So that's something I have to try and take forward. Though bloody hell, it was making my legs feel like they were burning. Um, so I'm coming towards the apart, uh, the hill climb where I fucked my bike up, and didn't even fucking try and wheelie that. No wonder I was going to crash. It almost went down. So yeah, unfortunately I didn't get any footage of um, Jesse going up. You saw the clip of Lucas doing it at the start of this video, um, and yeah, I, well, I, I basically followed the same way up as Lucas, and um, I just dinged my pipe on one of the rocks, and that was it. I was done. So then I've got some footage, like photo. So we're doing some trail side maintenance. Lucas had an idea. He said, take the plugs off. Jesse cut these two little pieces of uh, wood uh, for branch and we stuffed them into the things and cinched them down on the on the rad and it blocked it all up and bunged it all up and it looked like this and I was able to get out of the trail. And that'll be enough for this week. See ya. <laughs>